Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I want to talk to you about the AO2 backpacking stove. A few months ago, I recommended the AO2 backpacking stove on my stove hacks video, which I'll link above. But I actually might revise that now. So I've been having a big problem with this stove. It's never failed, but there is one problem with it. The problem is whenever I screw on the AO2 stove, in my perspective, it makes a huge hiss and escape of gas. And I actually think it's it's way above like a normal escape of gas. And there's like a massive amount of gas, especially when I go from my home location, which is almost sea level to the mountains to go backpacking on the Appalachian Trail. It will build up the you know pressure. And then when I go to screw it on, it will release just a massive amount of gas. And that freaks me out every time because I feel like I'm losing gas. I'm on like a three or four night backpacking trip. I, I've described the problem to several people. Everyone says, did you make sure that the valve is closed? Did you make sure to screw it on really fast? Yes, I do all those things. What's going on with this stove? I did an experiment. I picked up a BRS 3000T backpacking stove to compare to my AO2. I suspected something might be wrong with the O-ring, but that looked fine. So then I was taking a closer look and I noticed that these two pins are slightly different heights. So just to be sure, I measured each of the pins with a toothpick. And you can see here, sure enough, the AO2 pin is about a millimeter or two millimeters longer than the BRS 3000T. My theory is that if the pin on the stove is too long, when it goes down into the canister and it opens up the valve to release the gas, having the longer pin actually allows just a fraction of a second more of a gap between when the O-ring seals the canister to the stove and that allows just for a fraction of a second more gas to escape. Then I thought it might be just this stove, it's just my stove that has the problem. So I actually ordered another one on Amazon. It showed up and it had the exact same problem. Now, would I still recommend the AO2 portable backpacking stove? Well, the pros are that it's cheap, it's reliable, it has lasted me for 14 trips. But overall, if you're someone like me who really can't stand that, uh, that hissing noise, that escape of gas, I just think that's poor design. And every time that I hook it up to the fuel canister, it, it bothers me. It makes me worried. It makes me think that I'm running out of gas too fast. So for those reasons, I wouldn't recommend it. And if you're someone like me who that would bother, I also wouldn't recommend it. I would actually go for something like the BRS 3000T. Number one, it's smaller. It's way lighter. Um, it doesn't have the the uh, you know clicky electric lighting thing so you do have to bring a small lighter or some matches with you but I think that's a small price to pay to for so far what seems like a better stove the pin is definitely a millimeter or maybe even two millimeters shorter so when you plug it in you definitely don't get that gas escape which as you guys know just drives me crazy you know you can barely hear it that's what I would expect. Not a massive cloud of gas escaping. It's just a abbreviated pshh. I've done some initial testing around the house and it seems solid. I'm gonna do some more testing with boiling times um, this weekend and maybe I'll let you guys know what I find. But to wrap things up, I did recommend the AO2 backpacking stove in my stove hacks video. Now I think I probably wouldn't recommend it if it bothers you that it escapes a massive amount of gas when you when you screw it onto the canister. Instead, spend an extra eight bucks and get this. Anyway, the choice is yours. I just wanted to let you guys know, in my opinion, that's a that's a flaw of the stove and that probably should be fixed. 
Thanks for watching. Also, by the way, if you haven't subscribed, do me a favor, subscribe, comment, like, you know, you know the drill. Do all those things. It really helps me out and enables me to create more content. Thanks.